Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to save money on your bunny. Let's get started. So the first tip is to buy things for your bunny from the dollar store. Like this is their pellet dish. It's from the dollar store. This is just a little toy. It's from the dollar store. Also, I have mats in their cage. Um, those are from the dollar store. And yeah, it'll save you a lot of money instead of buying an expensive little pellet dish or an expensive water dish because they work just fine. The next tip is to make your own toys. I have a ton of videos on how you can, on toys you can make. This is um, just a little diggy box I made for them. It's just an old tidy house that they never used. And I just put a bunch of uh, paper and stuff in it. And yeah, you can DIY so many things. I DIY their Heidi house. And well, that's not one they actually use. I have one they actually use in their cage. But yeah, you can just DIY so many different things, and that will save you a lot of money, too. The next tip is to buy your hay in bulk. This is an empty box of hay I have um, that is um, that I turned into a hidey house. Because um, my other hay is in my closet, and my closet is kind of messy. But anyway, yeah, buy your hay in bulk. While Oxbow is a super great brand, their hay is so quality, they only have, like, bags, and for my bunnies, those bags would probably last, like, two days. My bunnies eat a ton of hay, so this was a 25-pound box, and it was, like, $25, um, and it's good quality hay, as you can see, um, yeah, so buy your hay in bulk, it can save you a lot of money. This lasted me, like, two or three months. Um, so yeah. The next tip is to use things that aren't exactly marketed towards bunnies. Like, for example, this is their litter box. Instead of buying, um, a big expensive litter box that isn't even very big, you can just use a storage bin. And... Yeah, this is just one we already had. Um, it was, um, um, we had Legos in it, but then we took all the Legos out, and then it had some old binders, and I asked my mom if I could use it as a litter box, and she said, sure, and it does great. That it, It's a really good litter box. Also... Like, uh, do, 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 um, and these are, like, their treat things, um, these are just, like, mm, these are actually my sister's that she didn't use, um, um, and a glass bowl and a mason jar, like, you can't, you don't have to use stuff that's marketed towards bunnies it will save you money so the next thing might seem kind of weird but instead of having them in a little cage um have a large x pen or some sort of pen now i know this seems weird why would this save you money the thing is though x pens are pretty cheap and it'll be number one it'll be better for your bunny than having just some tiny little store cage that's not even a suitable size for a hamster that was like ninety dollars uh, or you could have a like thirty dollar x pen that um is the proper amount of space also with the tiny cage your rabbit's probably gonna have a lot more health problems which means more vet trips um so yeah having a large cage will save you money okay so this last one is probably pretty obvious but it is 
to check on your bunnies a lot. Um, this might seem kind of weird, but it's just to make sure that they're okay. So if you check on your bunnies, like, um, in the morning and at night, at least, it can save you some money because you can notice their sicknesses in early I can't think of words, um, but you'll notice their sickness before it gets really bad, and then you won't have to have as much treatment, hopefully. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Look at Raspberry being so cute in her little house. Well, her big house.